News 46 is brought to you in part by... RV Superstore is celebrating its 40th anniversary with a super sale. 2011 Class A motorhomes get 3,000 cash back or three months paid. 2011 lightweight travel trailers, zero cash down, under 200 a month and $1,000 cash back. 2010 fifth wheel, zero down, up to $2,000 cash back. The best time to buy and trade is now. Certified Master Techs and a mobile service. Mention this TV ad and get 10% off all parts with service. All at RV Superstore. Call 727-7600. As I said, that, that we don't have the, the clarity that we would like, but there is no safety factor. Everything's good there. No one needs to be concerned that anything unsafe is coming out of the plant. Uh, Commissioner Brasky, you mentioned uh, he was concerned possibly this, uh, this water getting into our groundwater. Well, I don't know. I've never, I, I haven't sampled the pond. I don't know what's in the pond itself. But if what's leaving our plant is indicative of what's in the pond, then there would be no concern. Uh, it comes to the media when the pond looks bad. The pond looks bad when it turns. The pond needs to be cleaned and maintained. And with all the different things that have happened down at the golf course, that just hasn't happened. So, Wendy, to, to sum everything up, what would you like to say to uh, the, uh, the residents who live in the uh, Willow Creek area golf course to uh, assuage their concerns? I guess the best thing I can do is to let them know that we sample. We have not had any positive hits on our fecal coliforms. We are in constant communication with the Nevada D Division of Environmental Protection. They are well aware of uh, the sample results that are coming out of the plant and that the water coming out of the plant is absolutely safe. There is no threat to the community. When do you understand there's a possible litigation uh, coming up? Well, I heard that through the Prump Valley Times, but I have not been served. Uh, the last time that there was a lawsuit by the residents, and I don't even know that it is the residents because I haven't been served, but I wasn't served that time either. So I, I don't know what to say. I evidently due process hasn't quite followed the, the normal course.